hello it is flora thanks for joining us again and welcome back to our channel if you are joining us for the first time here at Ed explorer we go beyond borders to bring you inspiring content and also some very educating information hopefully you found some time to have checked our previous videos if you haven't done so we will encourage you to do so today we are visiting the country belgium by the end of this video you will understand belgium like never before we will dig deep into the country system and also point out its economic status and also the reason why Belgium has transformed over the past couple of years. So without any much delay, we shall just go straight into it. With regards to Belgium, Belgium is a low-lying country in Western Europe, bordering the North Sea between France and the Netherlands. It borders Luxembourg and Germany in the east, and it shares maritime borders with the United Kingdom. Moving forward, the country occupies an area of just over 30,000 km square. It is about three foot the size of neighboring Netherlands, or uh, you want to compare that to one of the states in the United States like Maryland. Belgium is a federal state divided into three regions, Dutch-speaking Flanders in the north, Francophone Wallonia in the south, and Brussels, the bilingual capital where French and Dutch shared official status. There is also a small German-speaking minority in the eastern part of the country. The country has a population of just over 11 million people and the chief capital, the largest city, is Brussels. If you are new to this channel, we would encourage you to subscribe and turn on the notification button so you never miss a video. With regards to Belgium's background, if you want to dig deep into to understand this amazing European country, Belgium became independent from the Netherlands after a nationalist revolt in 1830s. Occupied and devastated during both World Wars, Belgium formed the Benelux Customs Union with the Netherlands and Luxembourg in 1948 and became a founding member of the EEC then. Tensions between the Dutch-speaking Flemings of the North and the French-speaking Wallons of the South led in recent years to constitutional amendments granting those regions formal recognition and autonomy. Understanding the political system as the way Belgium is structured, it should be noted that Belgium is a kingdom. Belgium is a federal organized constitutional hierarchy monarchy with a bicameral parliament uh, system. Head of state is the king. He appoints ministers, including a prime minister, with parliament approval. Head of the government is the prime minister. The federal legislative powers is exercised by the king and the chambers of representative. The two houses of parliament are the chambers of representative and the senate. In Belgium, voting is compulsory. Moving forward, understanding this European country, it does have an interesting system. It has, it's a country that has emerged, its economy is also transforming, or has transformed, so the point out. Digging deep into the economy of Belgium, Belgium's more open and private enterprise-based economy has capitalized on its central geographic location, highly developed transport network, and diversified industries and commercial base. Industries is concentrated mainly in the more heavily populated regions of Flanders in the north. With few natural resources, Belgium imports substantial quantities of, of raw materials and exports a large volume of manufacturers uh, products, making its economy vulnerable to volatility in world markets in different ways. Belgium banks were severely affected by the international financial crisis that was since in 2008 uh, with three major banks receiving uh, capital injections at the time uh, from its government and nationalization of Belgian retails arms of the Franco-Belgian bank at the time, uh, which was a challenge for the country. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and turn on the notification button so you never miss a video. With regards to its transport network, the country does have one of the most sophisticated transport networks within Europe that you could ever imagine. It is also well known with regards to um, the flagship carrier is Brussels Airlines. Um, it does have regional 
uh, business airlines, of course, uh, which are scattered across the country. It, it's a national airport, uh, which is a seven term international airport, so to say. Those have railways like Euros, Eurostar, and that connects the country uh, to other uh, European nations. It has well known or was known also and currently still known for its uh, chocolate and uh, it's an interesting uh, country. Those have different Belgian products which are also being exported in different parts of the world. The country has some of the best universities you could ever imagine in Europe also. It's investing heavily into uh, its uh, educational system. There are different institutions that are well known at the Catholic University in Leuven, University of Ghent, and uh, uh, other universities like in Liege and also the Fry University. The country has also a very interesting history that we've pointed out, and Belgium has transformed uh, over the years. Uh, looking at its uh, climate, it is an interesting uh, nation when you want to dig deep into to understanding um, how its climate is. It does have a temperate, mild winters and cool summers, uh, raining and humid and cloudy. It is interesting that Belgium also is strategically located uh, within Europe. It is um, uh, Brussels is the capital of the European Union, if you want to point that out. It is strategically located that it has good connections. Uh, for those of you who plan to visit Belgium and um, in the next uh, uh, couple of months, uh, hopefully things change, uh, we will encourage you to also uh, review other aspects and also uh, the warnings with regards to traveling in this amazing European city uh, to provide you with clarification as to when to visit. Hopefully we've been able to inform you as regards to Belgium. If you feel that uh, we were able to provide you with enough information with regards to Belgium, uh, we would like to hear from you. Of course, the country uh, does have cultural values as well, and uh, some historic sites could be visited uh, for those of you who plan to take a tour within the European capital. And also, it does have an uh, interesting tourism uh, sector, which uh, it's amazing. And for those of you also who've been to Belgium before, we we'll testify on that. But again, uh, in this particular episode, hopefully we've been able to inform you and uh, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Thanks very much for watching. And in this particular episode, uh, we were able to uh, have a quick conversation with you as with regards to Belgium as a nation. We are looking forward to meeting you again in our next episode. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye-bye.